Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and greetings to Associate Professor Dr Abdullah bin Haji Yasin. We are from Group Twenty Two in KNP Three Zero Five Three Manufacturing System. We are going to present our research in manufacturing of the bedo, which is a traditional music instrument from the Muslim community in Sarawak in particular. Furthermore, we are going to present what is the suitable actions needed to be conducted to improve the framework of manufacturing of the product. As an introduction of our group, I am Muhammad Shahbarin bin Abdul Rahim, and these are my other three group members. Which is Abang Muhammad Akmal bin Abang Arabi, Ryan Wen anak Mujang, and lastly Hazik Muhammad Hazik Aiman bin Benjamin. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Shabari bin Abdul Rahim. For the introduction of our research, we were going to emphasize about the manufacturing of our goods, our product, which is the bedo. Bedo is the Traditional musical instrument from the community, from the Muslims community in Sarawak. The goal of this research to evaluate the existing products, production system, and perform a feasibility analysis of designing plan architecture and methodologies to refine the production of the existing product. In addition, to be released in 2022, this research must achieve the company's aim. The company's goal of expanding the production of the bedo and at the same time improve the production efficiency and framework. Further, the background of the product will emphasize more about the origins and how the product firstly involved in the Sarawak's Muslim people culture. Bedo is one of the most authentic handcrafted instruments which originated from the Javanese people in the Borneo island. It is utilized in the mosque and Surau. In ancient times, throughout the region of South, Southeast Asia, Bedo has also been used as a musical instrument in official ceremonies in the past. Instruments are often struck in response to increased rhythm and acceleration. It is usually made of a wooden frame of a perforated jackfruit tree trunk and both of the end of the bedo are covered using cow or water buffalo skin which is dried and processed the culture or tradition of making a bedo is deputed from the ancestors and remain until now in addition the tradition of bedo also engaged with the culture of muslim sarakian in sarawak Particularly, a bedo is a huge cylindrical shaped drum which is covered at the bottom end of the drum. This tradition practiced in the Muslim community, especially during the holy month of Ramadan and at an Eid. For example, the bedo sound is used to signal the end of the day of the fast during Ramadan and may also used to the signal the time of Sahur during Ramadan. The production of the instrument still applying the manual framework concept which the craftsmen are basic use basic hand tools to install the parts. Hello, my name is Muhammad Hazi Ayman bin Benjamin. My metric number is 70595. Today I will present manufacturing process and assembly and the production machine. So this is the Bedok components and parts. There are four main parts. The first one is the better head, which is made of dried cowhide or buffalo skin. The second one is metal body frame, which is made of casted metal. The third one is the body or shell, which is made of three woods. And the last one is the wooden screw, 
which is also made from the tree woods. Next is uh, the types of operating machines. All of the workstation uh, use semi-automated machines except the, for the cleaning process. The reason we use semi-automated machine is because it is flexible automation which is can perform multiple of jobs such as taking wood, uh, bolting the wooden screw with no time loss. So for the mining level, since all machines is semi-automated except the cleaning process, the mining level is equals to one. So only one worker for one machine. So for the manufacturing process and assembly of Budo, firstly raw materials such as metal, tree woods and cowhide or buffalo skin is prepared. Then the cowhide or buffalo skin is cleaned and dried in a drying machine to make the better head of Budo. Then the metal undergo casting process on the casting machine to produce the body frame. Then three woods is chopped on the chopping machine or cutting machine to produce chopped wood for the shell or body of the dog. Other three woods will go through the wood leg machine to produce wooden screws that will bolt be bolt on the dried height on the body part then the chopped wood will be stacked around the body frame by using automated assembly machine to produce the body part and then the shell will go through a sanding and painting procedure and lastly the dried cowhide or the better head will be stretched on the top and bottom of the shell and will be bolted by wooden screw on the automated assembly machine. So for the plan layout, there are one office and two storage room and two delivery truck for the transport system and then there are seven machines which is which are monitored by one worker for each station and then each machine will connected with conveyors as the carrier unit so next is the production machines product production machines is all machines that involves whether in uh, manufacturing process or assembly process to produce the product so this is the manufacturing machines that involved in the making of Bedok the first machine is CTCO drying oven it is a drying machine which is to dry the buffalo skin or cowhide to make a better head for the bedroom. The second machine is Premax 1516 CNC wood turning lead machine. It is a wood lead machine to, to produce the wooden screw that will be bolted on the body of the bedroom. The next machine is HT TTJ03 table saw machine with cutting machine. It is a cutting and chopping machine to cut the tree woods. And the last machine is J113B cold chamber small metal press casting machine. It is a metal casting machine to cast the metal for the body frame. Next, I'm Abang Muhammad Akmal, Bidabang Arabi, 
and I'm going to discuss on the computer control system. The manufacturing process of our bedo is run by automated and manual machine. Every station is controlled by PLC and PC which can be controlled manually by using computer. Programmable Logic Controller or PLC is an industrial digital computer that has been rigidized and adapted for the control of manufacturing process such as assembly lines, robotic devices, or any activities that necessitates high reliability, ease of programming, and process fault dynasis. While PC serve as a controller and a temporary storage location for the PLCs operating data before it was sent to the production line's shared database. Because PLC memory is limited, it requires the assistance of a PC to save operating data for easy review. The entire data can be seen on a computer, which displays all the procedures, calculate manufacturing, the time, and each product. If a new parameter is needed to improve the manufacturing rate, the engineer can set it. Next, I am going to discuss on human resource for our Bordeaux manufacturing factory. Since our factory runs fully with automated machines, the human labor needed for our factory is limited. After a long discussion with our groupmen, we have decided that we only need four groups of new workers, which consist supervisor, technician, logistician, and cleaner. These are the functions of four groups of workers. Supervisor. Supervisor are tasked to oversee manufacturing workers as they require a leader to carry out their duties. The supervisor overall responsibility is to explain the organizational needs, monitor employee performance, provide direction and support, identify growth needs, and manage the reciprocal connection between staff and the organization to ensure both are successful. Next is technician. Each automated system that was set for the control system are assigned to a technician who is responsible for controlling and maintaining it. Technician, on the other hand, are also in charge of machine maintenance. The machinery will be needed to service once a month on a regular basis. Logisticians. Purchasing, shipping, inventory, and warehousing are all supervised by logisticians. For from simple consumer products to customer personnel, they may have direct movement of variety goods, people, or supplies. To organize and track product flow, the logistician employ software tools. Lastly, cleaner. The cleaner will be in charge of maintaining building clean and organized, as well as as well as performing heavy work, the industrial cleaner is in charge of cleaning both inside and outside of the building. This will include things like high-level walls, ceilings, windows, and cladding. To guarantee that any waste items generated during work are properly classified and disposed of. My name is Rayan Wen and Bojang, matrix number 72657 and now I will present for my part. For the first part is the material transport system. Material transport system are primarily used in manufacturing and production context to move materials from one location to another, which adds in production, planning flow, and process management. This approach is also used to minimize inventory and delivery times as well as cut total production, distribution, and transportation costs. There are two types of material transport system, which is external and internal logistic. For external logistics, the wood is transported by supplier to the factory. The supplier will deliver the wood by using truck. When the wood arrives at the factory, we will use forklift to lift the wood and put it on the top of a wooden pallet. Next is for the internal logistics. After the wood being transferred to the wooden pallet, we are using the conveyor system. Specifically, we are using the powered roller conveyor. This type of conveyor can carry product horizontally across great distance in short amount of time. This can decrease human error, workplace dangers, and labor expenses by minimizing human mistakes.
Next part is storage and identification system. Storage system, also known as the storage management system, refers to the storage equipment that is used to assist in the administration of the factory, as well as to ensure the safety of the workers and the safe storage of the objects. The primary purpose of storage is to keep good safe for a long time when then retrieve them when needed. Meanwhile, for identification system, every product manufactured requires product identification to run a smooth and effective business. Customers are influenced to buy that specific brand or items because of branding and labeling, which creates a distinct image of the product in their thoughts. For the storage, our company are using pellet rack system to keep our product, which is the Bedo. This is because of its solid construction. Most pellet racks are made using steel, which make them robust and durable. They are long lasting and will serve our company for decades with minimal maintenance required. Other than that, that is, it is also important that we can maximize util utilization of space. Space is an important factor to consider if our company wish to expand the company. This system ensures a lot of uh, finished product of the dock can be stored by using a little extra floor space. For the identification system, we are using the basic barcode system to track the movement of the dock supplies in the factory. For example, once the materials such as wood and goat skin arrive at the factory, we will put a barcode for every material. Aside from that, the identification system is utilized to retain information about the materials, such as the date of manufacture and the price. This is critical to avoid the firm from selling items that are approaching their expiration date. I think that is all from me. Thank you. In conclusion, the traditional process of producing the bedo is manually carried framework, which required craftsmen to perform one or more crafting step without uh, the aid of machineries. However, we can improve the manufacturing system by using machines, which also helps to increase the production rates. Furthermore, machines can also help the, to reduce the amount of time to produce the bedo. Even though high investment is needed for this manufacturing system, it helps human to save energy. By using machine, also the bedo produced by the factory will have better quality since the machines have less error than human. That's all from us. Thank you.